What you got there, Dad? <laughs> uh, I'm plating up chili rayado casserole. Here, have you seen this? I have seen it only in your prior YouTube video. Well, I did a video back in July when Jan and Steve were visiting us in Mexico. And then everybody gave me a bad time about not showing how I made it, I think, if I remember correctly. But here, please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So, I've made a video before of the chili reino casserole, but uh, I didn't start the video until after I burned the peppers off. So, I do this with a blowtorch. You can do it on the top of the stove. You can do it on the barbecue. You can put them in the oven and roast them. I'm not that patient. I use a blowtorch. And then, you put them in a paper bag and let them steep or steam or whatever you want to call it. And that softens up all of the tough skin on the peppers. And then you scrape it off with a serrated knife. I've used a plastic bag. Works just fine, but some people might have an objection to throwing searing hot things into a plastic bag. I did it. It didn't melt the bag, and I'm still here. Now we're going to take a pepper out and I just uh, cut the top off. Flatten it out. Get rid of the seeds. Save that in case I want it later. I'm not sure I do. And then all of that black stuff just comes right off. And you don't have to be perfect. A little black stuff left on there is good for the flavor. And that's how you skin a pepper. So now we're going to make the batter and I use about a cup of flour and uh, just use all of it. It's a little more in a cup, but that's okay. And before I've heard that uh, you're supposed to, um, what do you call it, uh, separate the eggs. I don't understand what that means. You're going to mix them all up anyway, right? I don't separate the eggs. I just put them in there. And then, I like to put a little uh, baking powder in there. Baking powder, baking powder, baking powder, what's the baking powder? Baking soda, baking powder. Clobber girl. And uh, you should always measure this out exactly, you know. About like that. And... It doesn't say to do this in any directions I ever read, but uh, I like to throw a little salt and pepper in there. Just a little salt. And some, where is it? Pepper, pepper, pepper. A little pepper. Again, measure these things out really careful. 
Measure out the milk very carefully. Basically, you're just making some pancake batter. Yeah, more milk needs to be a batter, not a lump. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. Heat up the pan. While we're waiting for the pan, we can open up some Rotel with the green chilies. The Mexicans use bland cheese. Uh, I like a little more flavor. Today I'm going to cut up this Tillamook white cheddar, sharp white cheddar, and um, that's what I'm going to use. And if it doesn't look like it's enough, uh, I got some mozzarella. Mm -hmm. Oh, knife. Now, if you're a real chef, you'd be shredding this or putting it in a food processor. But uh, since I'm not a real chef, I just do what works. And this will work. Better taste that cheese one more time. Mmm. Yeah, good. Mmm. Okay. Pan's getting hot over here. Let's make a pancake. A chili relleno pancake. Ooh, it's not. It's too thick. It's not spreading out. That'll be a good layer in there. These don't have to be pretty because we're going to cover them up with good stuff. Let's see if we can flip that pancake. Yep. That's going to be a good one. Woo -wee. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful layer in there. Okay, big chili reno pancake number two. Slide that out there. I'm washing the bowl, but, oh, my little baby pancake came out perfect. Fire off. Um, I'm washing the bowl, but I'm in an RV, you know, so we don't, like, just wash stuff down the drain. We do use an extraordinary amount of paper towels, but it keeps the... Uh, holding tanks from getting real foul if you wipe them out real good before you wash them. You, you should also take note that I'm using the same bowl because when you're in an RV uh, you don't have a lot of bowls and uh, less dishwashing. So I'm going to get this going. I'm going to spray the bowl with uh, some cooking spray because I want to dump it out upside down when we get done. It'll be pretty. So let's start with uh, that and some Rotel and uh, a chili. going to rip that off, make it fit, put that part over there, get some cheese in there, more Rotel, like that, and another 
pancake. I'm going to use this one here. More Rotel, and now I'm going to use that second can of Rotel. That. More peppers. Rip those apart, make them fit. More cheese. More Rotel. And I am going to open up that other can. I'm going to open up this uh, mozzarella and put a little more cheese on that layer. Just kind of get it to all go together. Next layer. Rotel. Peppers, tear them up, make them fit, cheese, I'm saving that little piece of cheese to eat, but I'm going to need it. One more time, check it. Oh yeah, so good. Mm. And we'll get all this goodness in there. Some more Rotel. Rest of the Rotel and cover it up with the cheese. Now, this is going to go in the oven at uh, about 350, long enough to melt the cheese. Yeah, that much cheese left over isn't going to do me any good. Pat that all down. Oh my gosh. That's going to be so good. Okay, it's set in the oven. Starting to see the layers. Ooh. And go. Hey Google, set a timer for Let's check it in 25 minutes. All right, a 25 minute timer called Let's Check It, starting now. Hi friends. Well, it's in the oven, the convection oven. But let's talk about the pan that I cooked the uh, pancakes in. This is not a travel story unless you count traveling back in time. So the deal is that uh, this pan hung on the wall in my mother's kitchen. It's a good pan, uh, revereware, copper clad. Anyway, it's hanging on the wall, along with several others. Jerry, that be me, is 12 years old. Now don't judge me, okay? <laughs> this was over 60 years ago. Uh, my girlfriend Jenny's there with me in the kitchen, and nobody's home but me and Jenny, and I've got a BB gun. And I decide to show off a little bit and shoot across the kitchen and hit the pan. Ding, ding, ding. Can you see those three dents there? Well, right there. Okay, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one right on the edge, because... Apparently, if you were shooting at a pan, wouldn't you shoot at the middle of it? 
Wasn't a very good shot when I was 12, I guess. And inside the pan, you can see the dents. You see them? So, of course, the first time the pan comes off the wall, Mom puts it on the stove, she obviously sees the dents. Now, Jerry wouldn't do anything like that. No, of course not. Must have been his little brother, Roger. Five years younger. Jerry's 12, Roger's about seven. And uh, they are cross-examining him. It's worse than any police exam uh, uh, cross-examination you've ever seen. They were giving him the third degree. Had him turned over mom's knee, just about to give him the hairbrush paddle, gonna beat him bloody, unless he confessed. And at the very last minute, I saved my brother. I, I gave it up. I told the truth. I did it. There's a moral to this story, but I'm going to let you figure out what it is yourself. And if you're 12 years old, think about it real hard. <laughs> and then you see the layers. The deal is that I'm lazy. I don't like to make chili rellenos. I love chili rellenos, but making them is a pain. So I one day said, okay, let's uh, not do all of that uh, dipping it and dipping it and breading it and dipping it and all that stuff and stuffing it with cheese. I just take and make pancakes, chilies, rotel, cheese, pancake, chilies, rotel, cheese. Chili Reno casserole. Looks amazing. Can't wait to try it. Let's do that. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.